YouTube, what's up, man? We are back. This is the rematch regs money game. You guys asked it. And before we get into the video, I want you guys to comment a couple things. One, give me your top five wide receivers. Give me your top five below. What is your list? Who is your top five wide receivers ever? And does Larry Fitzgerald make that list? That's my question for you. Number two, I want to know this. I want to know what team should I play with in my next regs money game. I don't want the Chiefs or the Niners. I know they're great. I know they're the best teams on the game. Don't really want to play with them. I'm some mid-tier team. As you see, this gameplay, I play with the Cardinals. I have a Pat Pete jersey. I have two Patrick Peterson's autographed jerseys hanging up in my room right now. Larry Fitzgerald is one of my favorite players ever, especially one of my favorite players ever that wasn't on the Eagles. And actually, I drew a picture of him. Now, this picture is actually probably about 15 years old now. It's about time I'm in line to draw another Larry Fitzgerald picture. But I'll tell you guys, if you wanna see more of my artwork, head to my Instagram. If you wanna see more of these money games, head to my Twitch. We stream every night live some Madden, getting ready for Madden 21, keeping that momentum going. So let's see if I can help Larry Fitzgerald turn back the clock, get my revenge from last game, and get this win in a regs money game action. Here we go, we're facing the Houston Texans, and the Texans are probably the fourth best team on the game. Behind the, the Ravens, behind the 49ers, and behind the Chiefs, the Texans are there. They have Deshaun Watson, J.J. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins, bunch of pieces to work with, but I feel the same way about the Cardinals. They got short, fast wide receivers. They have Kyler Murray, who gets sacked on the first play. Now, Kyler Murray has a skate artist, but I'll be honest with you, not playing with the skate artist, playing so much regs, I'm really not used to it. So I'm not gonna get out of the pocket that much, uh, because I'm going to stay in the pocket most of this game. So escape artists for me, uh, I got to get back using, used to using it, maybe more mutt, things of that nature. There he is, Larry Fitzgerald. Probably uh, going to have one of the bigger games that you can have with Larry Fitzgerald. I have him at the wide receiver position as we get a fourth and er fourth down early. Uh, we get locked up right there. J.J. Watt, that, that edge threat just coming around making a sack. But like I said, uh, we have Larry Fitzgerald actually as we give up a touchdown on the first play. That's my deep half. I moved him a little bit too close. He got burnt over the top. Uh, like I said, I'm used to Taylor Mays and Sean Taylor being able to cover that ground right there. Buddha Baker was not able to cover that ground. Like I said, I have Fitz not at the wide receiver position, but at the tight end position. And when I audible, uh, he goes to the tight end. So for me, if you want to know how to do that, I have a video on how to get four wide receivers in Trey Y flex in tight offset and some other formations. So check out my video inventory for that information. But, right, but we're down by seven. Second drive, we're feeling good. Hit that man, Larry Fitzgerald. Now, I'll tell you, these wide receivers are a little bit different than Godwin and Evans. They're not going to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups. They're going to get pressed. They're really not physical, but this guy is. That's why this game, I had to mix up the playbook, had to focus on that wide receiver, or that tight end position a little bit more than I have in the past. So, going to try to feed Fitz the, the ball because I know, even though he has 83 speed, he's the guy that's going to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup rather than these fast guys with no route running. And right here, we're going to hit him again. Boom. Beautiful dot inside the five-yard line. First and goal. And we're going to hand the ball off to Kenyon Drake. Touchdown. Tie the game up. Looking good. Looking strong that drive. Uh, we're getting a hang of it. Got to mix my play. Can't just run dagger. Can't just run crossing routes because these guys won't get off man coverage. You know, they won't get off man coverage. You, you know, it's going to be easy playing defense if you're this guy. So we got to make it a little bit more difficult for him as he goes for this fade. But Buddha, 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 Buddha picks him off right there. Gets payback for giving up that other touchdown. Big play by Buddha Baker right there. Uh, so we got a chance to take the lead right back where we were. Uh, we're looking for the in route. That time, everybody was boxed. I had that out route. Wasn't looking there at the particular time. So nothing to go here. Second and 16. We're going to step up. Like I said, I, I'm not playing like I don't have a skate artist. Fat feet in the pocket. And J.J. Watts gets to the Kyler Murray. Third and 19. But he's going to forget about that. Running back out of the backfield. Kenyon Drake. Pick up a couple yards. That's a route I put on the field just to maybe get me back in field goal range right there. But I picks up the first down. Give the ball back to him, Kenyon Drake. We are closing in the end of the first half. What can Kyler Murray do? He can find Larry Fitzgerald back of the end zone. Touchdown, double move. Fake to the corner, went back to the post, and you know Mr. Fitzgerald is going to create separation on those double move routes. Touchdown, 14-7. to So he's covering the fast wide receivers. He's bumping them, getting physical with them, but he cannot contain the future Hall of Famer, Larry Fitz. Now remember, I told you guys, name your top five wide receivers. Put that in my list below. By the end of this video, I'll give you mine. Right there, he hits this fade, but he's running out of time. 24 seconds left. Uh, 
nothing left he can do in bounds. He runs around, throws the ball out of bounds right here with Deshaun Watson. So he's one play left, 17 seconds. He's actually going to hit this fade to DeAndre Hopkins. Boom. But the time is going to run out. He's going to go for the spike, but not quite second half action we're going to get into it right now he does get the ball so he's okay with that we're kicking off we're feeling good i need chandler jones to make some type of imprint on this game have you heard me call his name have you seen him do nothing no patrick peterson as well i mean i guess he's kind of avoiding that side of the field the right side but uh for me i need somebody to do something as he hits this little corner route right here and it brings me like where do you guys think the cardinals will finish this year too i mean i think they're in a tough division Big fade over there to Kenny Stills. They're in a tough division, but I think they're going to be one of the more improved teams in the NFL this year. Nowhere for him to go right here. Finally, Chandler Jones gets some pressure, but he throws the ball away with Deshaun Watson. Gets to a second and 10. Runs with Lamar Miller. We stuffed the run pretty good. Big third down coming up for him. Uh, he's looking for that streak again. DeAndre Hopkins, boom, but he drops it. Much streak specialist catches that. Going for a fourth down right here. We bring the dogs. Listen, go get the quarterback on fourth down. Best advice I can give you right there. With turnover on downs, we got a chance to seal the game right here. Um, so we're going to try to find fits some more. We're going to try to find fits, open up some lanes for our fast guys to get the ball. Uh, right here, we hit the out route. Andy Isabella routing them on that out route right there. It's been open a little bit. I see it open. Sometimes I miss it to throw it, but I definitely see it open from time to time. Uh, once again, try to take off of Kyler Murray right here. Get to a big third and long. He's going to try to blitz. We actually block it up perfectly, and Kyler Murray escapes. Looking like Michael Vick, but no, it's Kyler Murray getting out of bounds in field goal range. This game's pretty much cooked if I take some time and kick my field goal. Scrambling out again, hitting Larry Fitzgerald over the middle. Right there, Kyler Murray looking like a baseball player. That he is. Next play, we're going to go for the wheel route, but Justin Reed sniffs it out and picks me off. Terrible turnover. We had the game sealed with the field goal, but we throw a pick. Make things interesting. We like them sweaty. Uh, so we just got to hold them out the end zone. We feel fine. We have the defense in place. We're doing okay. All we got to do is make them run some clock. I'm cool with him running. Run all you want because the clock is going to run out. As he dumps it off here, I just try to make sure he doesn't go out of bounds. And he tries to go back to the middle and gets clocked right there. Taking this to the two-minute warning. He has all three timeouts, but the time is running out. There's that man. Chandler Jones, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. Second and 18. He's going to go for this crossing route. Ooh, that was a beautiful throw. Just over the outstretched fingers of Patrick Peterson. First and 10, under a minute left in the game. Drag route to Will Fuller. Another burner on the Texans. Tackled by Patrick Peterson. Second and six. Who is he looking for? He rolls out. Nowhere to go. He's actually going to take this sack right there. Big play. He has to call a timeout. 28 seconds left. Uh, looking for another drag route. Keep him in bounds. Good tackle. Buddha, 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 Buddha. Fourth down. Um, he's going to run. He's going to pick it up, but that's okay. Makes him use his last timeout. I feel good. I feel fine. 17 seconds left. He's going up top for the streak, and of course, my deep half doesn't get back. I don't know what my safeties were doing in this game. I, I, I need to go back to Mutt with the 99 speed safeties because when I bring these 88 speed dudes in the box too close, they can't get back and cover the deep half. So that's our second streak we gave up, and we give up the lead. We're tied right now. Uh, 10 seconds left in half, trying to make something shake. Roll out with Kyler Murray, try to find somebody, get a couple yards, get out of bounds, give myself one more chance. Now, I'll tell you, looking back at this play right here, I don't know what Kyler Murray's throw power is, but if I had the 99, I might have had that right there. But it's knocked away, and we're going to overtime. Back-to-back -back games, overtime, back-to-back -back games. I'm getting the ball in overtime versus this guy. Uh, Got to make some plays this time. We're going to just soften it up, get a little inside zone, get cooking a little bit. Um, get a first down right here on a read option. Just moving the chains, that's all. Uh, Got to play smarter. Can't go for a wild fourth down like I did last time. Uh, a lot of pressure on me here. Dump it off to Fitzgerald. Just creating that separation. Big body shields off the defender. Second and eight. Dump it off over here to Kenyon Drake. I'll tell you guys, I told you last game, that running back option route is really, really tough against man coverage. Uh, once again, we're looking for fits on the in route. Nowhere to go. I roll out and I try to throw the ball away, but um, I run out of bounds. Uh, second and 12. We're looking for somebody else. Absolutely nobody open right here. Does a good job. Wrapped up sack. Terrible sack. 45-yard line. Close to field goal range. I want to dump this off right here. Uh, back in field goal range. Are we going to go for this fourth down? No, I got to play it smart. I went for it last time. This time, I'm going to take my three. 
put his back up against the wall, see what type of drive he can come up with uh, going on here to try to get a field goal to tie or a touchdown to win. The new overtime rules are awesome, so let's try to play some defense. And it starts with a run, and it starts with a 10-yard run, 15-yard run. Good job by me on my safeties. Not giving up Baja first play on a run. Next play just takes off with Deshaun Watson right up the middle for a cool 18 yards. Um, pretty much in field goal range already. Another inside zone. Jukes my linebacker, and we're definitely in field goal range to tie the game right now. So now we just got to keep him out the end zone. Another inside zone. All of a sudden, Arizona forgot how to play any type of defense. I feel like another. Finally, somebody made a tackle. Only a three-yard gain right there. Drops back, looking to pass right here. Nowhere to go. Hits the flat, but a big tackle by uh, Alford right there. Followed up. Third and two. Nowhere to go. Chandler Jones gets him. No, he doesn't. Hold it. Wait. What's he? Oh, he's running away. How slow is my team right now? First down to Sean Watson. Oh, he's getting close to the end zone. Goes up top. Knocked away by my boys. Want an interception right there, honestly. Don't know. Second down. Looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Um, and we're going to send a spy. Really, once again, Deshaun Watson's faster than everybody in my front seven right now. Third down, he's going to run the ball, and we're going to stop it. He's going to go for this fourth down. He's going to drop the nuts, everything on the line. Uh, I'm, I'm not moving my safeties too far. I don't want to give up an outside streak. I'm going to sit on my linebacker. Move. That's it. Move Buda Baker out. Make sure I don't give up the outside streak. I know I, he's going to want to go to Hopkins. I'm going to bait Hopkins. I, I want him to go to Hopkins and pick it off. That's what I want right here because that's what I'd be looking for is my moneymaker in the end zone. But no. He thought that was open, but we user pick him for the GGs. Now, I'll tell you guys, that was a great game, man. Reg's action. This guy, me and him went back and forth. Um, I, we definitely are one and one right now. Try to finish up the series soon. But like I said, comment on your top five wide receivers. For me, Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, Terrell Owens, Calvin Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald. Right there. That's my five. Comment below who's your five and what team should I use in the next game.